It's just a regular door. Again, that's the big drawback compared to the coupe. It just feels a little more normal with that normal door. And when you climb in here, things also seem pretty normal. At least if you've owned a Mercedes-Benz from this area, you'll feel right at home because there's a lot of normal Mercedes-Benz stuff in this interior. For instance, the steering wheel looks like most Mercedes models from this era. The window switches on the door panel look very normal. Same deal with the climate controls in the center. Mercedes used this on a lot of different vehicles. Turn signal stock out of a lot of other Mercedes-Benz models. And that's also true of the center controls. You can see here, again, from other Mercedes models, this, in my opinion, opinion was always a big drawback of this interior. So much normal plastic in here, right in the center facing everybody. It just didn't look as upscale as it should have, considering what this car is. Frankly, that center control area didn't look upscale enough for most Mercedes models at the time, let alone the SLS. But while there is a lot of normal Mercedes stuff in here, there's also some normal things worth noting. One that's immediately striking is the dashboard, which is very upright and normal. That's a throwback to the old 300 SL, which also had an upright sort of normal dashboard, as was the style at the time. When this car came out, a lot more dashboards were swoopy and they connected to the center console with these nice lines, but not in this car. They wanted to mimic the look of the 300 SL with this horizontal straight normal dashboard. Next up, another notable item in here, the whole center console situation in this car is kind of normal. 